First at four, the number of people with diabetes is growing fast in Bear County. In fact, more people have the disease here than the rest of the state. And insulin can cost hundreds, even a thousand dollars a month. Eyewitness News reporter Troy Kless talks to city leaders about a cost share program to help diabetes patients. In Bear County, more than 15% of people report having diabetes. And according to Metro Health, Hispanic and Black communities are at higher risk. And I think the city has a role in also protecting people. And we did acknowledge that racism is a public health crisis, but we don't yet acknowledge or think of the ways that health, like diabetes, impacts people of color disproportionately. Councilmember Jalen McKee Rodriguez says after seeing the state put a cap on insulin prices for those with insurance, they want to go a step further. A council consideration request will ask the city to see if a cost share program to help San Antonians with insulin is possible. He says it would be the first program of its kind in the country. There's a need and I think the city has an opportunity to fill that need. The American Diabetes Association says Texas spends $26 billion in treating diabetes each year. McKee Rodriguez says the program and who could apply for it is still in the works, but says it could help those who sometimes have to choose between paying for medication and other needs. We know people with uh, diabetes often are in places with limited access to quality affordable food. We know that they've been impacted disparately by the pandemic, and so um, I think this is a path forward that addresses and closes some of those gaps. It will likely take months of discussion before the program becomes reality. Troy Kless, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.